So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to wash clothes with the schoolie if you have a portable washing machine. So um, I actually have to start this video over because someone told me in another video I had to cover up the license plate. I'm not sure why because can you really find someone through their license plate? And if they're on the road, then how are you going to find them? But anyway, I covered up my plates so you don't see them and I'm now going to show you how to use the washing machine. First, let's see that. underneath the bed and this is my handy dandy portable washing machine look how it's very lightweight probably weighs about 20 pounds maybe I don't know so anyway put that down there and I'm gonna show you how it works look me and the washing machine we match look at that wasn't even that wasn't even planned okay so I'm gonna show you more of what I'm doing and less of me. So I actually moved over to the side of the bus where I have this handy dandy outlet that I had installed. So here's the washing machine and I'll just show you some of the components. That's the washer part with the timer and then this is the switch to switch it from washing to draining and then there's the spin cycle. So there's two compartments. The first compartment is uh, the washing machine. That's the washing machine side. And then this is the spin side. So, um, and these are some of the components. This is the drain that I'll attach and the outlet. And here's my dirty clothes. So I'm going to load up the washing part and then I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so I filled up the washing machine up to the fill line, which is right here with clothes. And what I'm gonna do is add, I boiled some hot water because I'm at a house where I can boil water. So I boiled some hot water because I want I want it to be warm. So this water is only going to be only going to cover the bottom, and then I'll fill the rest with cold water. All right, got that in there. And then I'm going to fill the rest with cold water. Okay, so we got the hot water in there, and we're going to add cold water just up into the line. Okay. Okay. So I have about um, I think five shirts, three pair of pants, and some socks and undies in there so yeah we're just gonna fill this up and now we're gonna add some soap I just do like half a cup of soap close it up I'm gonna put the washer timer on 15 and once it really gets going I'll show you how everything spins okay so this is the washing machine in motion as you can see, it's not moving that much because I think I put a few too many things in there because the less you have in there, the more spin you have. These clothes aren't ultra dirty, so they don't need a lot of swish swish. But uh, like I'll show you, if you take some clothes out, how fast it spins. And you have the less clothes you have, the more it'll spin. See that? So, yeah. Like, yeah. So I probably should have only did it halfway. Oh, don't look at my bar. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, you know, sometimes what I'll do is, uh, you know, take some clothes out and leave them on the side and then switch them up. So everything is getting, you know, washed. Everything has soap on it. And this is how we use the washing machine part. So once this is done, this is a 15, Um, you can see, it's a 15 minute cycle. So I'm probably gonna do 15 and then another 10 because I'm going to be, I did fill it up a little bit too much. So like I said, I'm gonna take some things out. Let it really spin. Look at that spin. So yeah, to get a good spin, the less stuff you have in there. Okay, the wash cycle has ended and clothes are done. Now what we have to do is put this on drain. Um, hands are wet, so put that on drain and then you can see from here, the water is going out, is draining out. So there was one step I almost forgot to do. Well, was going was not going to do. I have to put water in here and you're gonna have to do another a rinse cycle so once all the water drains out 
we are going to fill this back up. I'm gonna fill this back up with water. So right now it's draining it. We're gonna put it back on wash or on, yeah, we're gonna put it on like the wash timer and we're gonna drain, um, you know, swish it around for 15 minutes so that we can get all the soap out. Okay, so looks like it's still draining. You can see drainage is pretty good. It's gonna get all of that out. Wait until you see what happens when we put it on the spin cycle, how fast that water comes out. Okay, so I'm just gonna use cold water this time. Cause I don't wanna heat up any more water. And I actually don't have it on drain yet. So, I mean, I still had it on drain. So the water was going right out. Okay, we're gonna fill this up with cold water. Okay, so the wash slash rinse cycle has finished and now I put it on drain. So we're draining the um, the water out, but while that's happening, I can put half the clothes in the spin cycle. So what I'm gonna do is take the clothes out of here, take some clothes, that's good. That's a good amount. And then we have um, this thing we put on top of it. Put that on there, uh, press that down. And then we're gonna put it on spinner and then you're gonna see how much water comes out when we put it on spin. Watch this. Can you see all that water just flowing out? That is from our spin cycle. And it's even rocking the um, machine. This was in the bus, they might think the bus was rocking for other reasons, but no, just washing clothes. Single lady here. Okay, so. Um, we're gonna let that spin out and that will get it about 80% dry and then what I'm gonna do is hang them up to finish drying and so I only put half the clothes in the other half still in the wash look at that what power in this little machine can you see how fast that is spinning that is really getting most of the water out of these clothes it'll probably only take a few hours in the Sun to dry okay so we did the spin cycle on two loads and we are ready to hang these up. I'm gonna hang them up in the, cause the sun is going down. So I'm gonna hang them up in the bus and turn on the heater. I think that that will get them done faster and it might rain tonight. There was one thing I wanted to show you. Inside the wash part, they have this little thing here that slides out and this actually catches the lint that you have. So there's a little lint in there from my wash. How cool is that? So just like a regular washing machine, love it. So I hope you enjoyed my little video on how to use a portable washing machine in a schoolie. And um, if you want to get one, they sell them on Amazon for about $120. I got this one brand new off of Facebook Marketplace for $75. Someone's loss can always be your gain. So check out, you know, some of these discounted places where people are selling things, sometimes new, almost like new. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please be kind and hit that subscribe button. Peace.